Well, Pentonville won this game tonight, 65-54, but this evening was about so much more than basketball. They played their hearts out. They played this game for Wes, and they won. This team and this crowd needing some joy to dull the pain of a sudden and tragic loss. We didn't really care about coming out and winning, just how much courage our team had to come out and play as a whole. And they wouldn't have let Wes down. They played their hearts out for him, and that's all that... That's all that mattered. Wes Leonard's mom and dad looked on from the stands and sitting with Wes's teammates, his little brother who wore white. He looked on as the crowd cheered and honored his big bro. The opposing team gracious in their loss. Clearly emotionally and physically drained, the Fenville Blackhawks could think only of Wes after their victory. They have shown me that you can rise up and, I mean, I got the strength that they showed and the letters showed for being here tonight. It just blows my mind and uh, that exemplifies Wes Leonard. Wes was like a brother to us. We're all family and we knew that he would want us to come out here and win another game and keep our streak alive. Wes died suddenly last Thursday night, just seconds after shooting the winning shot that sent his team to the playoffs. The 16-year-old collapsed in front of the home crowd and was pronounced dead at the hospital. The official cause of death was an enlarged heart. To help his team cope with the loss, Tom Izzo and former NBA star Bo Kimball spoke to the players before the game. We wanted them to know that we're here to support them. We didn't want to send a letter and send flowers. We wanted to, to show the support in person. Well, these fans and these players and this community has so much to cheer about, but they still miss their fallen player, Wes Leonard, and that will not change. Reporting from Holland, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.